The most important thing with 808s is to have them in key, you know, this is obvious, everyone speaks about it, but putting them in key can be quite hard, so I'm just going to show you some couple techniques that might help you. 808s are bass, right? So that means make a bass line, so that will usually be the bass notes of the chords. Pretty simple, and the bass notes of the chords are basically the bottom notes, or the strong notes in the chords really, um, but we're not going to get into that. Um, so, to be honest, it can be quite easy if you have the MIDI to the melody you're using, if you made it, or if you have a MIDI, um, it'll be quite easy. You can literally just copy the root notes from the chords and put them into the 808, a little bit something like this. So I have a MIDI from my MIDI kit, just in a random one shot with reverb on, it sounds like this. then what I'm going to do is say, oh, this is a root note, this is a root note, this is a root note. And I'm just going to copy it by pressing Ctrl C and then just pasting it in to the 808. Also, another way you can do it is just simply have ghost channels turned on. Um, go here. I actually don't know how to, yeah, uh, view. And then ghost channels or you can press Alt V for that. And then what you want to do is just place like this and then pitch it up press ctrl l to make it long and here's basically a bass line hey. and it sounds hard but if you don't have the midi then it will get a little bit harder you will have to start using your ears for like a hundred percent basically um, which is all right, but unless you're perfect pitch, you're gonna have to train your ears and you're just gonna have to practice because uh, in music, that's the only way you get good at things is if you practice it and uh, just keep trying it and you know, keep learning, look at people who are better than you, see what they do, and try and emulate it and copy it. I'm gonna show you a technique that I use, or what I do a lot of the time is just get a piano out and figure out the chord progression because I find it easier to find out the chord progression rather than just the root notes. I, I don't know, I need to train my ears more, but there we go. So this is what I do. I have a loop here for oh, just one of my loops. It's a vibe, but anyway, I'm gonna only select the region with a piano just so it's easier to hear what chords are. I'm gonna press plus on my keyboard, make a new pattern, drag it in, drag it out to eight bars. And then what I'm gonna do is go to the 808 and just figure it out. And it says it's in F minor right here. So we can just go to F automatically as the first chord. Oh, that it changes straight away so we're going to press another note there and you can tell it's sounding a little bit off and what we can do is just move this down and again it sounds off so it's another chord so right here and we can hear It goes like this. Not quite like that, like this. And that was just by using my ears that I figured out what the chords are doing. Well, also, another thing that I've done is, you know, sort of memorize this chord progression. It's quite popular, especially in like Rod Wave kind of beats that I make and that I like making. So, yeah, that's why I do that, and I've just already know it. But the other way is to get a piano, and I'm gonna just gonna figure out the chord progression. So I'm gonna. Um. So it said it was in F minor. So you can either change your scale highlighting to F minor, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just gonna do it. And that's the chord progression. And 
uh, yeah, chord and this chord right here. And there you go. Now you've figured it out and you've got it. So now you've got this. You can just fill in the 808 by doing the same copy and paste pattern uh, that we did in the other technique, the MIDI. Simple as that, pretty easy.